Fog to lift and now we're seeing overcast skies in Tuscaloosa. You can see it's still very damp here, but at least you can see Bryant Denny Stadium there in the background as visibility has improved greatly over much of the, uh, the area this midday. WBTM 13 live Doppler Not a lot of rain in the area, but we definitely have some showers around. It is a wet midday here up in parts of northern Jefferson County, Blunt, Coleman, Winston counties, and really just everything is kind of damp across much of central Alabama. A couple of showers there south and west of Tuscaloosa right along the interstate too. the rain coming down a little bit harder in that uh, area. And again, some of those heavier showers there kind of right up along uh, I 65 heading up toward Coleman. A lot of rain back to our west, and this is all kind of gradually lifting off to the northeast as well. And uh, we're expecting some additional showers across our area through the day today. So if you're going to be out and about, just make sure you have the uh, the umbrella handy. We've got a good mix of 50s and 60s on the map 61 in Tuscaloosa, mid 50s in Coleman, 61 in Burn Birmingham. We've got 56 in Anniston, 57 in Talladega. And so uh, watch on the future cast as we put this into motion through the afternoon. You can at least see some scattered showers developing uh, as we head through the day today. I don't necessarily think it's just going to rain all day where you are, but there'll be some showers at times, especially kind of north and west of 2059 through the day. And then as we head into tonight too, still in that same general areas, we'll see a frontal boundary kind of lifting northward with time. And it seems to be that the uh, the the showers as we head into tonight once the sun goes down and into the overnight period will be kind of concentrated here across some of our northern counties. Maybe some spotty showers as you go further south and then by tomorrow morning we're going to see an area of low pressure and a frontal boundary move into the state. You can see this is around the daybreak five, six, seven o'clock in the morning. It looks like the latest model run just came in and actually moves it in a little bit faster than that. And so we'll keep a close eye on that, but I still think the main time frame for some showers showers and thunderstorms for tomorrow is going to be between uh, 4 and 6 a.m. for some of the northwestern counties and then continue to shift east with time as we approach noon and early in the afternoon tomorrow. Uh, instability lacks a little bit with this system, but uh, there's enough uh, at least shear in the atmosphere that we've got a very low end threat that we could see some isolated damaging winds, perhaps a brief tornado. And again, especially the first half of the day for your Wednesday. Rain chance is still staying pretty high out there the next couple of days. A brief break on Thursday and then rain moves back in later Friday. Saturday looks to be pretty wet too, but then it looks like we do clear out uh, Sunday. Christmas Eve will go with the chance of a few lingering showers turning colder for Christmas Day.